trash can and blew across the road. Damn. I'm late. It's five o'clock. And uh, that's what I get for trying to hurry up and get coffee before I leave. And I kept forgetting stuff. I had to go back in for it. On the plus side, I got my gun. And I got my bullets. And I got my coffee. I didn't forget nothing. So, we're doing all right. About to get out, hop in the P row again, head to the back, and get back up in that stand location that I moved in the last video. And hopefully it's a different story this time. I didn't see anything last time I was in there, but I didn't hunt until about, about 7.30. And might not have been enough time. Uh, we got a moon here lately, so might be moving a little later. Unfortunately, I gotta get out of the stand at nine o'clock. I got stuff I gotta take care of today. So, try to make the best of it, see what happens while we're in there. And, um, try to stay warm. It is 65 degrees, I think. West wind and got my windbreaker, got my long johns, got my gloves, do what I gotta do to stay warm. see them from the stand. The grass was too tall. They must have been bedded there when I came in and just didn't move because they didn't know what it was in the dark. Boy, we scared the shit out of each other though. It was a little four or a six point with a doe. It goes to show you the rut must be on because a pretty good trail, right? Bucks and does usually all bed together unless it's right, so that's a good sign. So I, I ran into that guy on the way out, 
is telling me he's got a YouTube channel. It's under Vince Ocella. And uh, he does a lot of hunting in Alabama and Missouri. But he told me out here where we're hunting, he, he hasn't seen this many deer. He hasn't seen as many deer this year as he has in years past. So there's actually construction going on not far from us, which could be affecting the deer as well. But there's not very many places they could go out there. It's open marsh with big Syria patches and it's lined with uh, cypress swamp and oak ridges and the way the pattern goes is that they usually will feed on the oak ridges at night and walk across the open marsh into the Syria bushes. Here we go again. Day two, conditions are a little different this time. This morning it's 38 degrees, we're about a nine mile an hour wind. Instead of yesterday, it was about 45-ish with a almost 20 mile an hour wind, which was rough, but we made it. I'm gonna try to sit to 11 today and see what happens. I jumped that four point in that doe on my way out yesterday. So I know that there's at least a doe, a hot, maybe she's a hot doe in the area. I don't know. Uh, that four point was tending her obviously. Uh, so I hope I didn't spook them too bad, which I don't think I did. They just jumped up kind of trot it off a little bit so it was windy enough and they were left so fast I don't really think they knew what I was they didn't even they did one little blow whenever they jumped up but that was because that was from the initial me startling them so hopefully they didn't mess nothing up too bad I talked to Vince yesterday the guy I ran into on the park and he said he's gonna try to make it out there this morning two people in that area kind of watching things seeing what's going on this morning uh, he can see a lot from where he's at so he'll know if the deer are moving to be able to tell better than I will at least because he can see so much whole thicket instead of trying to work the edge of it well, I was kind of going straight through the middle and it was I thought it wasn't bothering too much but because I was seeing deer but I don't know if it, it's the amount of times I've been through it or because I keep going through it like that it's messing things up so my way out I'm gonna try to find some more sign going around this thicket I might even have to move my stand see what happens it's part of the game sometimes you gotta move around a little bit till you get it just right 
Can't always get it right on the first try. Well, this doesn't happen all the time out here. Got a little bit of ice on the windshield, I can't see. All right. So today's the last day of my three day marsh hunt deal. I gotta go to work tomorrow until Sunday and then then on it's going to be hectic uh, Christmas coming up and all that we're in the middle of the rut right now so hopefully something happens to me I don't know switching up the game plan this morning I try to go walk to a patch of Syria's and see if they've been crossing another patch that's directly across from the one that I want to go stand by see if I'm going to just go see if they've been walking along and I don't know what else to do but try it because I haven't been seeing much where I'm at yesterday a guy that hunts not far from me saw a four point and a doe but I'm not after a doe and I'm not after a four point I'm going to go try a different area and see if anything's moving through there it's worth a shot it can't be any worse than what I've been seeing Well, this is the end of the trip right here. Covered in mud. Hit a fucking log. Couldn't catch my balance. Hip hip hooray. 38 degrees. Flip the P-Row. <sighs> covered. Guns covered in mud. Bags covered in water waiting on towels right now it's cold it's the first time that's ever happened waiting on my fiance to bring me a couple towels <sighs> taking her a minute but woke her up out of a dead sleep I mean everything's got frost on it this morning even my ass. Just cleaned out my bag. This is what it looks like. Muddy. Gross. Nasty. My jacket, that was on my bag. Should have seen when I cleaned out of that gun barrel. Yep. Gonna be a day of washing. <laughs>